Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Mr. Wilkinson here. This is the first of several online classes I'd like to teach you um, on physical policy, which we were talking about before we left on our, what do I call it, our break. Anyway, physical policy, ladies and gentlemen, is the topic for today. Today is March 29th, and we are going to be talking about taxes today. As a review, physical policy is tax and spend. Uh, the government tax people, money comes to the government, they take that money and they spend it. It's been in the news a lot lately because of the stimulus package passed by Congress and the President. Two trillion dollars was agreed to be spent to get the economy going again. Now where's that money going to come from? They're just going to have to borrow it and we're going to be further in debt than we already were. So it's been in the news a lot lately and there are a couple of different types of taxes that I would like you to know about. Tax type number one is a progressive tax. Now a progressive tax is a tax where the wealthy pay a higher percentage than people of lesser means. The wealthy pay a higher percentage in taxes than less wealthy, than poor people. Now could you write this stuff down guys and label it March 29th? If we get back to school before the end of this school year, which I really hope we do, I'll collect it. And if we don't, I'll figure out a way of giving you uh, the no credit. A progressive tax, again, is, is the wealthy pay a higher percentage in taxes than poor people do. And an example of this would be the federal income tax, which is what we talked about before we went on break. Um, you probably don't remember it, but I just looked it up. If you make, after you take out the $12,200 deduction, which you do not have to pay taxes on, if you, pay le if you make less than $9,700, your tax rate is 10%. On the other hand, if you're more affluent and you make more than $510,300, your tax rate on everything beyond that amount is going to be 37%. The wealthier pay a higher percentage in taxes than poor people do. That's an example of a progressive tax. Federal income tax would be that. There's another type of tax called a regressive tax. And a regressive tax hits poor people more. Poor people pay a higher percentage in taxes than rich people do. An example of this, ladies and gentlemen, would be sales tax. I looked this up and the sales tax in Salinas, California is 9.25%. So that means most things that you buy, you have to pay 9.25% in taxes on. So let's say you don't make a lot of money. Let's say you make $30,000 last year. Chances are, if you only made $30,000, you're not going to be saving very much. You're probably going to spend everything. So if I multiply your, the salary times how much they have to pay in taxes, which is 0 0.0925, this person would pay about $2,775 worth of taxes. As a percentage of their income, which is $30,000, they pay 9.25%. Which seems logical. They spend everything, they have to pay taxes on everything. Now let's say we have a wealthier person that makes $300,000. This person made a lot more money. Well, this person has made a lot of money. They're probably going to spend more than this person because they have the luxury of doing so, but they're also probably going to be able to save. So let's say that they save 
150, they save half, and they spend the other 150. They are only going to have to pay taxes on that amount. If I multiply that by 0 0.0925, their total tax, sales tax, would be $1,375. They're only going to pay the taxes on this amount divided by the total amount that they earned that year divided by 300,000 and that turns out to be about 4.6 percent taxes. So because poor people are spending most of their money they pay higher taxes as a percentage than wealthier people do. That is an example of a regressive tax. Last, type, last example would be proportional. A proportional tax is everybody pays the same percentage. Everybody pays the same percentage in taxes. And there are politicians out there who say we ought to have a flat tax. The tax system is too complicated. Everybody should just pay, I don't know, 20% in taxes. So an example of that would be a flat tax. Everybody pays the same amount, say 20%, and it makes doing your taxes super, 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 super easy. What they do in Finland is they base the speeding ticket on your income. Basically, if you're caught speeding, you have to pay half of a day's income and that's your that's your fee. So it'd be an example of a proportional tax. Uh, philosophy number one on taxes is ability to pay. The people that pay the taxes are the ones who can pay the taxes. An example of that would be a progressive tax like the federal income tax. Wealthy people can pay, so therefore they should pay. And another philosophy on taxes is benefits received. An example of this may be like social security tax. When you are working, you're paying that tax. So when you retire, you get that money back. The people that benefit from the tax are the ones who have to pay it. You get the money back when you retire, so you pay for it while you're work. You are getting the benefit. I know it's not a tax, but if you went to a national park or a state park and you had to pay an entrance fee, you are supporting the maintenance of that park and it would be an example of benefits received. The people paying for the park is the one who is getting access to the park. Another type of tax that I would like you to know about, just real quick like, is a sin tax. A sin tax is a tax that governments put on in order to dissuade people from doing things. An example would be they don't want people getting drunk all the time. So they make that more expensive by having high alcohol taxes. Marijuana is legal in California. They are taxed really high because the state doesn't want everybody to get stoned all the time. And uh, another type of sin tax would be a cigarette tax. The government doesn't want you to smoke, so they put big taxes on cigarettes so you don't smoke. Anywho, end of lesson today. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.